Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, we're here uh, at the National RV Training Academy at Big Red Schoolhouse, and this is week one. Day one, we're actually going over electrical. One of the things I want to go ahead and tell you that, did you know that at least once a year, you need to get into your breaker panel box and tighten up your connections? Now, of course, there's a lot of things that we need to do when it comes to safety, because of course, I'm asking you to get into an electrical box and tighten things up. We need to make sure that we don't have power coming in the breaker panel box. So need to make sure that you're disconnected from the pedestal. You need to make sure that if you have an inverter in the RV, that you have that in the off position. And in the worst case, what you could do is just simply go over to your battery and disconnect the negative post on your battery bank. That way there's no possible way that you can get hit with electricity over at your breaker panel box. Now here's the thing, okay? If you'd like to learn more information about how to do that and the proper steps, course consult a qualified technician but from time to time you need to understand that the connections for all of our wires do get loose right just went over a couple episodes with some of my students here where they have loose wires that creates heat the heat just burns everything up you bought your RV it's an investment you need to take care of that investment by tightening up those connections how tight you say well if you open up your breaker panel box it will give you on the data plate how tight it should be. But can I tell you, it's gonna be hand tight, right? Tight as you can, hand tight. Some of these you're gonna see that they're gonna be 16 inch pounds, 17 inch pounds, whatever there may be. And if you don't have the proper torque setting to do that, hand tight will do it. Here's what I want you to do. Before you stick your hands in there, start tightening stuff up. I know that you've turned off the pedestal. If you have an inverter, you wanna make sure that that's in the off position. You still wanna make sure that you got no power there. You do need to get a proper voltmeter, right? And check to make sure there's no voltage. You're gonna set it on volts AC. You're gonna put one probe, doesn't matter, red or black, on the screw head of where the main breaker is. And then the other probe, again, red or black, it doesn't matter, on the neutral and on the ground. You're gonna do two different tests, right? Neutral and ground, and make sure that you see zero volts AC. You got zero volts AC, then you're free and clear to break out your number two square head and tighten up mainly on the neutral side, right? You have a neutral bus bar, you wanna tighten that stuff up. If you keep that tight, right, chances are you're gonna have less potential problems with loose connections or anything else. Yes, bouncing down the road, going through Louisiana or anything else can loosen those things up. Once a year, let's say springtime, fall time, when it's not so hot, not so cold outside, get in there and tighten up those things. Best time to do that, travel days. When you're not plugged into shore power or anything else. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. I voted. You voted early. You should go out and vote. Still got some time for you to go vote, right? No matter which side, do your voting, do your civic duty so that way you can properly complain when you don't get your way. We're in week one of our uh, class. Come on through, sir. It doesn't matter. You'll be on part of the bloopers. It's all good. <laughs> 